Hi Recovery Girls, Misty here. Thanks for joining me today. It's March and in March a lot of times in recovery circles we talk about step three. And step three is that we made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God. In this step it's highlighted that we made a decision. So sometimes we don't know exactly what it means to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God in the long term, or sometimes even in the immediate. Um, it is, it, it may be challenging to know, well, what does that really look like? How does that actually play out? Um, so it's kind of great that we get to just first make a decision that we've we've come to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. And now we're at the place where we're ready to decide that we're going to turn the reins over to the care of God. Um, a few years ago, my husband and I were driving together. Well, he was driving and I was riding with him. And we were sort of rushing to get wherever we were going. Anyway, the stoplight in front of us turned yellow. And I just remember he looked up and he said, I'm going to let that stoplight be my higher power. And rather than rushing through like we often do on a yellow light, um, he slowed down like you're supposed to do, and he came to a stop. I was so struck in that moment of the practice of turning our will and our lives over to the care of God, and in this instance, practicing surrendering to a stoplight. And if it's hard for me to surrender to a stoplight in my life, if I have trouble submitting to even that, something so simple as the, just the law of the land in a very, in a safety, it's a very reasonable law at that, <laughs> that, um, that we could take turns and, and slow down, you know, when it's, uh, the light's getting ready to turn red. That's an indicator to me of maybe some struggle I might have with a power even greater than that. So uh, it occurred to me, you know, that this is a practice I can put into place. I can put into place submitting my will, surrendering my will, turning over my will to my alarm clock um, rather than hitting the snooze button um, you know, pushing to the very last minute. What if I get up when the alarm goes off and I surrender to that? How would that shift my day where I'm no longer hurrying or feeling like I'm behind the eight ball, um, able to, maybe I'm not speeding, maybe I'm going the speed limit, maybe I take in the view. One decision of surrendering to a higher power can lead and open lead to a lot of things opening up in our lives. Um, the situation with the stoplight is just a great practice. If I can practice um, turning my will over on these simpler things, uh, then I can also apply that in my relationship with God and my higher power um, in the big stuff. So I challenge you today, in what ways can you make a decision. He made a decision. I'm going to let that stoplight be my higher power. He didn't mean God. Um, he's not going to make the stoplight God. But he had made a decision. And once he made the decision, his actions followed pretty simply and pretty easily. Uh, in what areas do you need to make a decision today? I pray for you the knowledge of God's will for you in that and the power to carry that out. Stay the course in recovery. I'll be on it too.